All right, Kevin, obviously two bogeys to start, but then you bounce back with four straight. I mean, what kind of composure does it take to do that? Yeah, you know, I got off to a really poor start, and I didn't really feel like I had a lot of bad shots. Uh, first hole was a flyer, uh, and then I, you know, I had a really long putt. I three putted. Second hole, I had, a, I had a great shot right where I wanted to, and and Kenny handed me the putter, and I walked up there, and it's over the green, couldn't get up and down. So um, technically, I had one one bad shot on, on, the, on the tee shot on one. So... Um, you know, I just kept t telling myself, you know, there are a lot of birdie holes out there, and I rattled off a few birdies in a row and kind of got the momentum in the right way and um, played well the rest of the way. Yeah, you had a little bit of a par streak there and then finished strong with some birdies too. Mm -hmm. Are you just feeling some kind of Hawaiian vibes, really, from, from last year? Yeah, you know, you, it's a special place, right, and it's an honor to be here. Um, every year you come here, you're doing something right. Um, and, you know, I just played well, at, you know, a few weeks ago at the QBE with Jason Kokrak. We went, you know, we got to be one QBE, and that helps. So I don't feel like I had, you know, too much time off. You, I had a lot of time off leading into QBE because of an injury, but then that really helped me. Uh, I feel like that really helped me get ready for this week. And then uh, the green reading books, uh, mm -hmm. how has that affected, if anything, you this week? So I never used the green reading book. I remember last year at Sony Open, I looked at it one time on 17 when I had a chance to shoot 59. And it didn't work out too well. So <laughs> that was the last time I saw it. Um, now, Kenny carries one. Uh, my caddy uh, used to carry one. And uh, we, he'd look at it here and, th here and there. So I don't feel like it's, it's going to be a hu huge change for me because we've never really looked at it a lot. Um, so I actually like it that it's gone. Um, so I feel like Kenny and I am a pretty good reader, green reader out there. So it's an advantage for us. And last thing I heard you say, you are playing a new ball for the first time in, what, 19 years? Talk, tell me about that. And... and yeah, I mean, it's pretty wild. I've been playing the um, same brand of ball for 19 years. Uh, my first year my first year as a pro, I played a Callaway ball, and then right now I'm playing a Callaway ball, and I, I know this is not going to be my last year. Uh, um, and uh, it, it's really good. You know, it's, um, it, I wouldn't have made it switch unless I really thought it was really good. Um, it's still too early to say uh, because you can practice all, it, all you want at home, but you have to get uh, competition rounds in to really know what this ball is, is like. And um, 600 is so far so good. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks. Appreciate you. All right.